Parable of the Good Samaritan, Chapter 4. I have to move past him as quietly as possible so that he doesn't realize that I'm here. Because if he knew that I was here, then it would be a lot more difficult for me to just walk on by. So I shuffle over to the other side of the road as quietly as I can, and as quickly as I can, I move right past him, past the dying man, past the bloody gurgling, and past the blue and the black and the beaten and the bruised, past the guy that I've never seen before and hopefully will never see again. No, don't you say it. Don't you, don't you dare say it. He's not my neighbor. He's just a stranger. I, I owe him nothing. I don't even know his name. Don't you dare try and make me feel guilty for this. You weren't there. You don't know the situation. You can't judge me. Besides, there was nothing I could do. And I'm going to find him all the help that he needs, or at least I'm going to try. That's enough. That's more than enough. That's more than can, what can be expected of me. I'm not really sure how long I've been walking since I passed that horrible scene. My mind is lost in thought. And despite my best efforts, that sickening tickle of shame is starting to slither up my spine. Should I turn back? Should I just keep going? If I'd only just left yesterday or tomorrow, I wouldn't have to deal with any of this. And then all of the thoughts and the emotions and the bloody snapshots are just peppering my brain so much that I'm not even paying attention to anything anymore. I can't even concentrate on the road ahead of me. And I know Jericho's up there somewhere, but it's still out of sight. And so everything is just passing me by like I'm in some cloudy fog. Every tree, every rock, every crook in the road, they're all just blending together into the last one. But I'm sure I did the right thing. Or have I just convinced myself that I did the right thing? despite all of the evidence that's placed out in front of me. But what does it even matter anymore at this point? I'm doing the best that I can. Isn't that all that can be asked of me? And again, my mind, it's just racing in its own mind's eye, lost in thought, lost in emotion, lost in shame and doubt and guilt. And that's probably why I didn't see the shadows moving off to the side of the road. That's probably why I didn't hear the footsteps running up behind me. And that's probably why I didn't feel any danger swooping in to swallow me whole until stars just exploded and I tasted concussion and everything just went black. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.